Hello children. I hope all are fine. Your Veronica teacher will teach you maths today. The concept of full and empty. One glass is full of popcorn and the other glass is empty. One basket is full of apples. The other basket is empty. One glass is full of cold drink. The other glass is empty. One box is full of toys. And the other box is empty. The basket is full of cherries. The other basket is empty. One pot is having a plant. The other pot is empty. The first basket is empty and the other basket is full of flowers. The ice cream cone is empty. The other ice cream cone is full of ice cream. All done. Children, let us learn more. Larry, see the bucket is empty. Let us fill the bucket with some water. Yes. Now, your bucket is full. Very good, Larry. Now, Larry wants to go. Bye-bye, Larry. Children, now we have a new friend here. See this dog. He is very thirsty. He wants to drink lot of water. Can you help him? See, his bowl is empty. Let us fill his bowl with some water. Yes, now his bowl is full of water. Now the dog will drink the water and go away. We have a new friend here, Tommy. Tommy, what are you come here with? Oh, you are come here with a box full of apples. Can you give me your apples? I want to eat all your apples. So your box is full of apples. If you give me, now what will happen? Your box will be empty. Oh, see your box is empty. Thank you so much. Children, let us revise now what we have learnt about full and empty. We will put the right tick mark for the full object and the cross sign for the empty object. Can you see the bucket and the mug? Now which object is full of water and which object is empty? Yes, the bucket is full and the mug is empty. We shall put the tick mark over the bucket and cross sign to the mug object. Very good. We have the next object, the bushes. One bush is full of flowers. And the other bush is empty. Children, put a tick mark to the bush which is full of flowers. Yes, now put the cross sign to the bush that is without the flowers. It is empty. Correct. That was amazing children to teach you the concept. I hope you understood it. Do practice. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.